So uh, the U.S. beat Ghana in the World Cup 2-1, to one, and uh, Delta wanted to uh, congratulate the United States, so they tweeted this. Congrats, Team USA, nice goal, uh, with a couple hashtags there. And uh, two to one, so the, the United States, represented by the Statue of Liberty, two goals. And Ghana, uh, represented by a giraffe, one goal. Um, now, of course, they did delete this tweet. The giraffes are not native to Ghana, although <laughs> Ghana, Ghana is in Africa. Uh, they did apologize immediately, and we've got the apology tweet for you. We're sorry for our choice of photo in our previous tweet. Best of luck to all teams. The, uh, the mistaken tweet and then the immediate apology is sort of Social Media 101 in 2014. Jimmy, make your point. Um, I didn't know that giraffes weren't from. I thought Africa there had everything that every part of Africa has. You know, I, <laughs> I didn't realize that there were different parts no, of Africa. No, they don't go through the border. The no, as a good American, I try not to know anything about other countries, their cultures, their languages, religions, even the geography, especially the geography. And uh, if, they, if, if you're telling me a giraffe is not indigenous to Ghana, I'm going to call bullshit. It's just blowing. It's mind blowing. I yes. know. It's mind blowing. Kim, make your point. All right. This wasn't malicious, but it was certainly uh, careless, lazy. I mean, it's kind of disrespectful to people to not learn anything about them and try to represent them in your own way. It, it doesn't seem like it means a lot to if you're the one saying it, but to the one who's being the object in question, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, my point is this, if you're gonna pay social media either interns or low-level employees what you pay them, then you can only get a certain amount out of them. They may not be that well-versed in everything that's going on in Ghana, so these type of things can happen. Uh, so the question is, have you guys ever experienced racism or uh, have you had racism directed at you? Not that this is specifically about racism, but there's a twang of uh, maybe ethnocentrism or something along those lines. Kim? Everyone's looking at me like I'm not white or something. <laughs> and what is your, what is your uh, ethnicity? I'm, I'm half Vietnamese and I'm half Caucasian, mainly German French. Oh, okay. Um, so yes, I have been on the internet, so racism <laughs> has been directed at me before. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes it's it, people think they're making kind of a, a harmless joke, or sometimes they straight up call me a chink or a gook, which is really stupid. How, wh what are you doing watching the Young Turks if you talk like that? Yeah, <laughs> that is a good point. Jimmy? Um, well, I've been taught by the internet that uh, I'm just a typical Jew. <laughs> And, uh, I've seen that a lot in the comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now you are not Jewish. Not Jewish. But they love to attack you <laughs> as a Jew. It. It's because I wear glasses and I think they think I'm Ben Mankiewicz. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to get someone else, the racism that they want to direct to someone else? How does that feel it, it to get? It hurts deeper than if I actually was a, a Jewish person. <laughs> It, it actually does. I, Jews, we've learned to joke these things off. You know, you get a lot of it. So yeah, I mean, I'd rather. I mean, one time I was called a dirty Puerto Rican. So I'll, you know, whatever. I'll take it. And you're married to a Mexican. Hundred percent Mexican, yeah. right? And well, a lot of times people think she's Italian because you know they like her. But yeah, um, yeah she's a hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I was accused of racism on this very network a few weeks ago. No we kidding. did a joke on TYT 140. Uh, we did a joke about the Indian election. It was the largest democratic election ever. And our joke was a silly reference to Apu from The Simpsons. And we quoted his tagline, thank you, come again. And uh, we showed a picture of him and that was the punchline. It was a character from probably the funniest show in the last 30 years. Uh, and we thought it was pretty harmless. Uh, but uh, some people thought I was racist well, because, a because, of, uh, because of a marginal joke where I was quoting another you know, right. comedy writers. It's kind of kind of like an institution in comedy in America, yeah. right? It wasn't like you were caught some, uh, some obscure thing you were quoting. Right, You're it was quoting reference. mainstream comedy accepted. But so a lot of young people, or a lot of people who grew up being called, what was that guy's name, Abu? Apu. Apu, so Apu a lot of people. So if you were a young Indian in America, there was only one Indian in, in our culture, which was Apu. Right. So they would call, they refer to them as Apu. So they think that as an offensive term, which it's not. Right, which is also but interesting. But I understand, well, but that's not, that, that's not a rate. They're just identifying you with that guy they're identifying you with. That's all. I'm right, sorry. and that's also. they want to be identified as, though. Right. I mean, that's like calling Pakistani people Indian and being like, oh, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. It's not the same thing to them. Right, well, no, no, no. I understand that once someone says, don't do that, then you go, oh, okay, I didn't know. Right. But to, sure. to do it, at, like, unwittingly, like Dave did. Right, to immediately say, well, you're a racist for having right. no, if there had been a pattern of anti-Indian comments that right. I had made culminating in this 
uh, whether, whether the joke was brilliant or not, then yes. I guess it would be legitimate. But was the whether, joke brilliant? No, the joke was, but we knew it wasn't <laughs> it was brilliant. Just a it was just a silly reference. It was a reference we to a bigger joke. It was to, to a much bigger joke that's gone on for a long time. And by the way, Apu, they've done many episodes lauding Indian culture, where he gets married and has yes. kids, doing a lot, of, and taught people a lot about great things about Indian culture, but we must move on. Oh, I hate that we have to move on. We're quick here. Because, because people are going to misunderstand what I said. I know it. All right, give me, finish it up for us then. No, I understand that people, it's a source of pain for them because it, whenever someone as a young child, if you were a young Indian in America and they referred to you as a poo, right. that would then make you, hey, I'm the other, I'm different. So now you associate being called a poo with being ostracized, right? right? Even though maybe the people who did that weren't trying to ostracize you. They were trying to maybe even saying it in a nice way. And so you weren't, you didn't mean anything racist by it or mean by it, but now that it's been pointed out to you that it is a sensitive subject of the people, of course you're gonna. I, of course I would be more aware of it. And by the way, last thought on this, the line, thank you, come again, we also thought was funny because it was the largest election ever. So it was implying that maybe people voted twice or something like that. So there you yes, go. Okay. You do the best you can in comedy. Racist. Have you guys ever been the victim of racism or accused anyone of racism? Comment right down below. Let us know your thoughts.